Good afternoon and welcome to a Thursday Live. I hope that your week so far has been amazing. I am Nadine Forsler and I am here to give some inspiration and creative ideas. Welcome in my home studio and doesn't matter from where you are watching. This is something that I repeat week by week, but I mean it sincerely. I'm just here to give inspiration. I Nothing that I say is casting stone. Um, it is creativity, it is color, it is fun, it is easy, and it's to inspire you to start being creative. Of course, there are so many healing tools in being creative, and also there's a world awaiting you of self-discovery and, and just self, a feeling of self-worth and self-appreciation the moment you start creating something. So sit back, relax, enjoy. It's going to be fun. It's going to be messy. Enjoy the session with me. So what I have in front of me today is just a whole lot of choco paint colors. And this really can be the last drops of paint in your jars that you have. So I've just taken some sample pots off my shelf and off the shelf um, in our store. And I have... 250 grams of paper. So that this is, just to show you what the, it's a mixed media paper, um, 250 grams, so it's nice and thick. And then in my um, introduction, we, sh we said that this is a spe special shout out. So something that's so special about Choco is the fact that we freely share. And not only myself, but the people and the creatives I am surrounded with. So, thank you to Sharon Bellman, um, Jensen Francis, a beautiful person with beautiful creative talents that shared this technique with us last night during a chopper paint workshop. And also a shout out to all the amazing people that joined us last night for all the fun, creativity and mess and just the most um, most amazing creations that you have created. This is a huge shout out to you all. I love you to bits. Um, so I have an A4 and an A3 sheet. And I'm just going to first show the messy part because this is so much fun. The moment you start, you would not want to stop. I think this technique will be beautiful for gift cards. I cannot wait to use it on a piece of furniture. I'm also seeing it on focal walls. Um, but this is now just on craft paper. And also the reason for these live sessions is to make it easy, smaller projects, but to also give ideas and inspiration so that you can actually attempt it on larger, bigger items. Um, Maestro is our biggest, best chalk ambassador. Um, so, I have these colors and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just put drops, not too much, you don't want to waste, of different colors on a sheet. So there's some lovely Lorinda named after my lovely mom and here's some sweetness. So this is some pinks, Aschat. absolutely, I'm sure Maestro will be, feel very envious because this is also named after um, a friend's rescue dog, Aschat. it's really an Aschat color. So if you need to translate this to English, Aschat is very cute and also cute and mischievous. Nade, so Nade, the color named after me. So Choco's colors are named after mostly the people in our factory, but also our children, our pets, our clients, family members. It's a story about passion and just sincere creativity. Tersha Steele, now Tersha visited the factory just after COVID. Tersha, this is a shout out to you as well, because your color 
is still amazing and I use it so many times but I don't show it enough. So I'm just dotting on this paper and this also can be a furniture piece because you can see the colors won't slide down if it is applied onto a, a furniture item. Maestro. Okay, and just maybe for some excitement, Karima. Karen is my sister-in-law, a strong hand in our factory and also in our business. Maestro, you need to behave. Okay, now what I'm going to use, so there's dots, color is a personal preference. And you use colors that make you happy. And Maestro, you are going to go outside. Maestro, gedraag jy jou. Okay, I'm using a squeegee. So this is what you would use when you clean windows. So I'm just going to show. So I first press some of the paint up. Sharon taught this to us last night. So this is not my cleverness. I'm just sharing. Then I lift it up. And what I'm going to do is I drag the squeegee down so that the colors actually just mix with one another. How amazing is this? And if I just want to make sure, how stunning is this? That that section is done properly. And even though it's not, there's a clear indication of separation, which is amazing. What I'm also going to do, very light pressure, I'm just slight, lightly going to move my squeegee across, but not pressing too hard. So this is a quick way of creating a beautiful backdrop um, once again you use colors that make you happy and that you like and that works in your space is it beautiful Kaylee? Mm, maestro. Okay. all right so there it is and now you allow for this to dry okay i have done it on this piece of paper, you will just see I've already outlined. So there's some greens just for inspiration. And here is some teals, touch of karima, um, greens. Okay, now the next step, and just inspiration, is we are going to use a choco stencil. And I've already done that because it takes time. Thank you. I can't say I've done this. You know, and Monica assisted. And what you do is you act, actually trace the stencil on your surface with a normal pencil. So I've just applied my stencil onto my dry piece of paper. Now this can also just be a technique on its own. I'm just sharing more creative ideas. And what I've done is I've traced the entire stencil with a pencil on my sheet. What I'm going to use next is some willow charcoal. Okay, so this is burnt willow, that's actually charcoal. I've learned a few things last night. It's so, so amazing to learn new creative ideas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this charcoal just to outline and I'm actually creating art now outline my stencil and these this is more of a botanical print I just need to see how so light is important I'm working here 6 p.m. in winter time so everything is already dark so I just need to see where the light is now the thing with charcoal is it is so forgiving 
you actually can't make any mistakes. Um, and this is creative freedom. So you draw. So this is a botanical print as part of this chocolate stencil range. Oh, my Mia. I need assistance. Any one of the Fosla men that can hear my shout out now needs to actually act. Last week when Kaylee had such a chuckle when she was doing the first one for me, her brother was eating ice cream so loud that we could actually only hear him and nothing else. Um, so this week, the brother has disappeared and Maestro has appeared. Okay, any of the four slimming out there? Okay, so I am roughly just outlining the leaves of this botanical print. I'm telling you, women are amazing. Kaylee's multitasking. She stabilized the phone with a glass and she's removing my stone. You are really part of the family, people. Okay, so this is done roughly, okay? And you enjoy the process. It is really um, a medium where you actually can't make any mistakes. I just want to show the end result because I have others that I've prepared in different designs and it just is so stunning. So you don't need to be an artist, um, but you can still be creative and create amazing art. Okay, so there's the one leaf. And now what I'm doing, Carla has left her paper, her um, painted paper with me last night. Carla, I have numerous options that you can choose from or you can just have everything. So what I'm actually joining, doing is the, the leaves on the stencil is separated from the stem just because the design needs to be um, designed in such a way else everything will be loose. So what I'm doing is I'm just joining, I'm not sure if it's visible on the screen, but there's a gap between the, the leaf and actually the stem of this palm leaf. And I'm just joining it. So it actually forms a unit. And if I feel I need to add in more lines so that the leaves just look full, I can add it. Fun. It's a quick way to create something and I am so excited to actually test this even on a wall. Um, I'll show you now how we're going to fix this so it actually stays here. Okay, and you can be so playful with this. Okay. Now something that you can also do, look there. It is my art piece complete. Okay. Also stunning idea um, for a workshop, for those that do workshops to create beautiful bespoke art. What you can also do is um, you can also take an artist's brush and if you want to, you can add some color on the insides of the leaves. So that is a next option with any one of the designs. And I'll show you more options in a moment that I've prepared already. Once the once charcoal has dried, you can go over with the charcoal again, um, just to make sure that those lines are nicely visible 
where you want to accentuate, where you want to accentuate in anything. Okay, so I'm quickly, I don't want to let you feel that it starts getting boring. So I'm working quick so that you can see what happens. But also what I can do is blend color. So if I'm, I've just painted with Ashat, today is Lee's birth, birthday. For those of you that work closely with me or with the Choco family, you will certainly know Lee. She is my right hand, my assistant, the person that runs our Poch concept store. And today is her very special birthday. Liki, I love you to bits and appreciate you to bits. I hope your day was just filled with amazement. Um, you just deserve the best. Okay, so there I've added some color to the leaves, but now you can see there's a lot of green going on here. The background is green, the leaves are green, everything is green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a paint scraper. And I just dip it in my cloud white. So this is chocolate paint cloud white. Please, if it doesn't say choco paint, it is not choco paint. Choco paint rips to wall tiles, to melamine cupboards. Um, it is also a chalkboard paint. It has a built-in primer, a built-in sealer. It is focused on job creation and empowerment. And it's just amazing in every sense of the word. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just adding some white and this is something that you can do and this is also the fun thing is never once are you stuck or can you not make any changes so I'm just spreading my paint scraper over that section even the and remember I'm going to fill that in I just want to create some lightness on my background and this is also just tips you change and make changes as you are busy with your piece and where you feel something needs some changes you bring it forth there I can outline again and I'll play around until I am satisfied with the outcome. So something that I also want to do is for the sake of changing the background color is I am going to, and can you see I move in different directions because you actually do want to change the texture. You do want different textures. And what I'm going to add next is just some nade I just want to change the background color that it's not too green. And this is something that's not necessary. Look for instance here. Here we have done the donkey. So this is the chalk of stencil that we've traced. It is 22A3-4. So it's an A3 size. And there we've traced the donkey. And we sketched the donkey with both black and white charcoal um, chalk and charcoal onto the surface but can you see the the different colors we've used there then another option is on this one i was bold and there's a lot of color can you see how i've added the white afterwards like i'm doing now with the palm leaves and the stencil that I was that I used to create this is actually this stencil, um, the Choco Paint Stencil 2230-7. And what I've done is I've traced that flower and I I literally just drew a bowl at the bottom, added some leaves, and there is a piece of art. I'm not an artist, but I love color and I love being creative. And so I need to find ways where I can actually do it and enjoy it and where it's easy. 
So for this frutilla, I've used different greens and also nade and the colors that's on my table. So you, there you can use um, nade, tertia steel, ashat, different pinks. Um, and the stencil I've used, so this frutilla looks nothing like this, but I've traced this frutilla there. And when I started painting on the inside of the leaves, I started creating my own bespoke piece of artwork. And there's a 21, 30-16. Okay, so that's also an option. The white that you see here is done with chalk, normal white chalk. I'll show you in a moment how to set everything so that you can wipe and it actually doesn't come off. Okay. So for the nade, let's just go back to that. I'm going to add some nade here, just for some difference in color so that everything is not too um, green. But also once again, um, color is a very personal, a personal choice and it also depends on what's going on in your space. But with art, there aren't actually any rules. Um, you will see that art pieces contain so many colors and textures and, and that's why it's called art. They aren't tools. So you can change as you go, as you want to, by just spreading colors as and where you want to. And the fun thing is that you can layer it again. Never once are you stuck. Even if you have set it, and I'll show you how to set it um, once I'm done, just give me a moment. But even once you have set it and you still want to make changes, you can simply just write with a charcoal on top again, um, or paint with charcoal, or just enjoy the process. The best tip I can give is to just start. Paper isn't that expensive. Um, a few drops of choco paint is not expensive. You see, I hardly use anything. Um, and it goes a long way. So I really want to be abstract. And I just want to add some what? Let's see, even, why not? Garden, this is a shout out to you. Okay, there's some karima, just a drop. The nice thing about the chalk colors is they actually complement each other so well. Okay. And there are darker areas, some places, and lighter areas, others. Now, this is the perfect, in countries like Ireland, I'm not sure if the Irish and the Scottish are watching, and the, the family members, um, Choco family members in Dubai, and Australia, and all over the world. But in South Africa, we do have something like load shedding, where we need to find creative ways of keeping us happy and busy when we don't have electricity, so this is such a nice way of just unleashing that creativity. Okay. And what I'm going to, I'm even picking up some color there. And what I'll do next is I'll allow for this to dry and then I'll just go with my charcoal over everything again so that there's more contrast between greens and other colors. So the process, which I will follow now, is I'll wait for that to dry, take my charcoal, outline, fill in where I want to add some color maybe, and you decide what you want and what you don't want to do, um, and you just enjoy the process. So anything and everything can be changed. I am going to show you how to set everything so once 
you have done the outline, you have the, and your charcoal work is complete. And you can use normal hairspray, or there's something called like a fix spray. Um, you hold your piece a, a few centimeters away, almost like the length of a, of a ruler, and very gently, you just spray over your surface, and what the hairspray or the stick spray will do, it, is, it will just set the charcoal, that it doesn't, um, doesn't make a mess. It's actually fixed, it's secure, it's there to, on your surface. Okay, I am going to complete this one. I'm going to play around. It will be beautiful with a beautiful frame around it. I cannot wait to test this technique on a furniture piece. Um, it, yeah, so we have this Choco Teen Challenge and the, apparently the new Barbie movie is coming out, which is apparently a big hit. So today, um, for our TikTok channel, we did this... Um, as an inspiration for all the pink teens and um, pre-teens out there. So, to get your children creative um, has so many benefits. And this is one way of getting them involved. It's messy. Um, Kaylee attended the workshop with me last night and for two hours she was so occupied in just being creative and creating. Um, this is something that I can really motivate all parents to, to do with their children. We hate a thinking, we hate a task. There's, there's so many valuable aspects in being creative. So our chocolate teen challenge for the month of July, your teenager, ages 13 to 19, need to create something with chocolate. Share it on our social media pages or on their own or even on yours. Um, with a has hashtag Choco Challenge and then on the 1st of August we will announce the winner. I, I'm almost in Northwest with a workshop in Northwest on the 29th of July and then I'm visiting Namibia on the 12th and the 19th of August. Um, so please have a look on our Facebook page if you are in the areas of Sumek and Baltaspai and Swakopmund, I can't wait to see you all. And my message for this week is to, I have a special message. So, so many times for the rest of the Choco team, I will say, if you do something, be the best version of you. And um, because that is what differentiates us. Um, from others. So to the teens and to the parents out there, and to myself, uh, my ears are the closest to my mouth, so I hear it my own words first, be the best version of you. And then don't sleep on your dreams, work for them, have a dream, and don't stop until you've done everything possible to accomplish it and reach it. So dream this week ahead, Dream big, and then I'll be back soon with more creative inspiration. It's Mama Choco signing out, and I can't wait to see your creative creations with Choco Paint, a squeegee and a stencil. Keep well. Bye-bye.